as someone who played during that era and also someone who's involved in the league in this era, what do you think are like the biggest differences between the way um, David Stern commissioned the league and the way that Adam, Adam Silver commissions the league? Um, I think they, they both, they, they're uh, similar in a lot of ways, but they're definitely different. Um, David was much, what he was much more, uh, disciplined. He was rigid. It was going to be this way, um, this way or the highway. Um, Adam, I think he is, uh, he definitely is definitely open to the more open to what the, the players, I think both of them have done an outstanding job of growing the game of basketball. You know, basketball is no now a global sport. Look at the revenue that basketball is is uh, bringing in, the salaries that that's being paid. Um, you know, I think that they're different, uh, but their their job is to grow the game and to make it um, make uh, make it beneficial for not only the players but also the owners. Obviously, it was a good player off so far. Um, the Celtics dominated Indiana. Uh, Pat, how do you feel about the Wolves-Mavs series? Do you think Minnesota's figured it out how to win, or do you think it was, you know, a gentleman way for Dallas to treat them? You know, it's 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 hard to say. You know, I, I thought that Minnesota was going to be the team that wins, uh, that come out the West after mm-hmm. beating Denver. Um, just, the, just the way that they played against the, uh, Denver, just the, their size and them, their ability to shoot, uh, to shoot the three and, um, you know, get to the hole. But, you know, uh, Dallas has done an outstanding job with Kyrie and Luka, the way that they play. And it's like a two-headed monster, their ability to take over games. The games have been closed, but um, once once uh, Dallas won those two games on on Denver's, I mean on uh, Minnesota's home court, uh, and then come back and, and win uh, at home uh, uh, tonight might be might be the last might be the last game. You know, uh, it'll be Dallas going against Boston. Thoughts on Rudy Gobert being Defensive Player of the Year? <laughs> this is it, what is third, fourth. It's fourth. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure who should have been uh, defensive player of the year. Uh, I think that he does a, a great job for them, uh, anchoring their defense, clogging the paint up, blocking shots. Um, you know, I can't say one way or another if it's right or if it's wrong. There have been years when I thought I should have at least won uh, a defensive play of the year and, and never got it. Mm. But, you know, I, I take my hat off to him and his success and, you know, wish him nothing but the best. My, so, obviously, we'll keep this all. I'm, I don't really care anymore. For me, a defensive play of the year is not getting iso for end of the game. <laughs> That's just my point of view of it. Like. <laughs> I would say, that, <laughs> Pat. Obviously, you being a big right. Do you think you would have been getting cooked like this? <laughs> hey, look, he is going. He's going against Luca, one of the one of the best, um, one of the the best one on one guy. He he had him on ice skate. Um, you know, I, I was I was talking to some one of my friends about the exact same thing. And as as a big, I would try to cushion him or give him get up on him and make him a driver at that at that point. Uh, I'd rather them hitting a two than a three. Uh, but he did the best he, the best job he could. <laughs> I'm being a I'm, I'm a politician today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's because of his feet, bro. Because he looks mad good. I think his feet just might be too big for him. I think that's I mean, he's, he's, he's what, seven, he's seven, seven, three, seven, two, right? Mm-hmm. And you were asking a man that big to guard, to be able to guard Luca. I mean, that's a, that's a, a tough situation to be in. Uh, very true. I think, I mean, like you said, anyone, whether it's a, a big or, or even, even a guard, if you're on an island against Luca, it's going to be tough. Yeah. I think the, the question is really like, 
should the criteria for defensive player of the year change? Has it sort of, has it evolved with the rest of the game? Cause it feels to me like the criteria is, is, is obviously the best shot blocker, shot alterer, or clogger of the paint. And I think in like the eighties and nineties, that was, you know, that was obviously those were the d- dominant defensive players, right. but it feels like in my opinion, now we're shifting towards like a, can they guard one through five? How versatile are they on defense? Like I, I think OG should be defensive player of the year. That's obviously unbiased, but. Well, you know, of course, uh, I love OG. I thought that, you know, that was uh, one of the best pickups that you guys, that you guys made. Should he be a defensive player of the year? I mean, I, I really don't know. I just know I love him for your team and I love what he brings to your team, his ability to guard one through five. And also, um, you know, he doesn't need the ball to be effective and he, he, he can make big shots. Could OG guard you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Could Rudy Gobert guard you? No. <laughs> no. No. I thought, where's, where's the politician at? He left? Hey, look, you ask, no, you ask, I'll be a politician when, he, to, when it's, it was about the defensive play of the year. But when it's about my ability, you know, I, of course, I'm going to, I'm, I, I have, I believe uh, in myself uh, 100%. Mm. Pat, who in today's NBA could do the best job on you defensively? Um, well, you know, when you look at, there's three that there's t- those two guys, um, uh, you know, uh, Embiid and and Jokic. Those are the two best centers in the league right now. Um, so it, it will be, it will definitely be a battle. You know, I'd have to be able to guard them, uh, and then they would have to also be able to guard me. So uh, you know, I think that those two guys will definitely be it'll be a, a great a great matchup matchup so tell everybody buy their tickets and get the popcorn ready <laughs> we're gonna bother we're gonna battle <laughs> all right people it's time for the ballsy moves sponsored by tommy john tommy john makes the most comfortable underwear on the planet comfort is confidence and tommy john knows that i want to talk about someone who's radiating confidence right now and i would say that's probably austin rivers with his um 30 nba players that can play in the nfl Interesting take. Are we saying? But I feel like it's. it's are valid. we saying playing in the NFL or being successful in the NFL? There's a lot of players who play in the NBA who are not successful. Mm. You know, excuse me. I, I successful to like, from I like, make a yeah, make a roster versus For be sure. like a probably more than thirty to make a roster. More than thirty can make a roster. Yeah, actually, Pat, do you think you could have made an NFL roster? No, uh, <laughs> no. I was really about no, to sit there no and be like, way. "Yeah, I can see that." Thanks, Pat. No, nor would I. Nor would I even try. I remember <laughs> when I when I came out of when I when I got when I graduated from Georgetown, the Washington uh, Redskins at that time wanted me to to come try out for a defensive end. I'm like, "Are you crazy? I'm the number one pick, and you want me to come <laughs> uh, try out for football?" No. Nah. But you could. I, I feel like you could have made the team. I feel like you would have been a good DN. No. Uh-huh. Hey, look, I, I, I watch, and it may, remember, in my era of football, mm. that was... Oh, it was, it's over for you. Yeah, was, y'all was a little rough, yeah. <laughs> way different than the way they play now. No. Yeah. No. Good business decision. Yeah.